Hey everybody, your DC title guy here. Today's video, I wanna talk about the real estate marketing budget. Well, as busy realtors, you probably have a marketing budget. You spend money every month on certain things. Some of them are fixed costs, some of them are not fixed costs. And you hopefully use that money to generate more business or create exposure, or, you know, keep yourself in front of other people. Well, are you tracking the rate of return on that? Do you know how much money you spend? Do you know what you spend it on? And are you getting business out of it? And is the money, is the business you're getting paying for everything that you're doing? and then some. So let's talk about what I think are some of the top things real estate agents should have in their marketing budget as fixed costs. Okay, and by fixed costs meaning these are things you should have. Obviously the cost for what each one is can vary, but number one, your CRM. Okay, your CRM, Customer Relationship Manager, is extremely important. Your database is your data bank, right? Think of it that way. Without a CRM, you're losing money, okay? You're costing yourself money. So there's a lot of good ones out there, and they range from different prices. You have Wise Agent, you have Top Producer, you have Follow Up Boss, uh, you have Realty Juggler. There's, there's a ton of other ones, Salesforce. Uh, but get one that's pretty specific to real estate and works best for you. More expensive does not mean better, okay? So get one that works best for you, but the key thing is to get one and use it. Get your database in there, set up your drip campaigns, get your contact notes in there, get your marketing program set up, track your clients, your A clients, your B clients, categorize your people so that you can, you know what's going on in your database, okay? You, don't, you wanna stay in front of these people because as soon as you're not top of mind, that's when you start losing transactions. Number two, your website and ads, okay? Get a website that's good. Get a good website. Get something that you own. Something that's 20 bucks a month is a $20 a month website, right? Probably a piece of crap. Get something that's visually appealing because visual sells and it keeps people on your site. Get a website that you own and control like WordPress. Have landing pages set up so people can land on that page and can fill out forms and you can collect leads. Right, get something that's easy to use and supports video. Make sure your website does not have flash on it, that's bad. And get a website that is mobile friendly because most people search for the things on the internet through mobile devices, so you wanna have that set up. In terms of ads, check out Facebook ads. Is Facebook my favorite social media platform? No, it's not, but with over a billion people with accounts, that's probably where people that you know, your friends, family, past clients, prospects, that's probably where they hang out, right? They spend a lot of time there. Well, with Facebook's algorithm that's, con that's continuing to change, sometimes your posts don't show up in other people's feeds. Well, one way to do that, especially if you have a business page, is to boost your post or pay Facebook for an ad. Okay, there's different prices and different ways you can do it, but it does ensure if you're paying Facebook that your content and information and all of your stuff shows up in other people's feeds. Okay, that's huge. So spend some money there and see what happens. If it doesn't work, then reevaluate, stop doing it and go somewhere else. But if it does, keep doing it. Um, but I highly suggest take checking out Facebook ads uh, for, your, for your business. Number three, email drip marketing campaigns. We all get emails, right? Some of us a lot more than others, but you know what? Having people on drips all the time on a consistent basis is a great way to stay in front of people. Of course, through those email drip campaigns, you can drive people to your social media platforms, your YouTube channel, back to your website, whatever. But keeping yourself relevant and in front of people through email drip campaigns is huge. There's a lot of great ones like Aweber, uh, you have MailChimp, you have Constant Contact has a campaign. Wise Agent even has email drip campaigns set up through it, so some CRMs do that. But make sure you have another way to stay in front of these people, okay? Number four, and finally, is you want to have um, outbound marketing strategies set up. So if you are sending out postcards to your farm, uh, newsletters to your sphere, you wanna get something that's professional and works, okay? Um, CoreFact is a great website uh, uh, platform that you can check out, it's a postcard company that uh, sends out professional um, postcards and what it does, it creates a widget on each postcard that drives people to a landing page to get a free CMA or something similar. And when they do that, they put in their information, the landing page is branded to you and they will get a CMA, but you will collect their information. So if you're marketing to your farm or a subdivision, you're going to be able to track who's interested in the value of the property. Well, you can reach out to them at that point and be like, why do you need to know the value of your property, okay? So your budget can totally vary between like, you know, three, four, five, six hundred dollars a month to 2,000, 3,000 plus. But 
you want to make sure that if you're spending money on these things, which I think are fairly essential, you're getting some sort of rate of return on that and you'll be able to track it. So I'm Wade Vandermolen. I'm with Stuart Title in the Washington, D.C., Northern Virginia area. If you need help growing your business, you know what to do. Call me, email me, fill out a form below. Uh, if you're on my website, DC Title Guy, take a moment and subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, if you haven't done that already because I post relevant content. And of course, if you're on my website, subscribe to my blog. And I look forward to working with you soon.